Hello and welcome. I am Vishwanath M. In this video, uh, let us try to learn and understand the 8th program of Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning Laboratory of VTU, 7th sem CSC. Now, um, in this program, we deal with KNN classification algorithm. This is very important with respect to theory as well. KNN means K nearest neighbors. Now, the entire program is dealing with iris data set. So just to have some knowledge of this data set, iris is basically a flowery plant and it, it has three classes of flowers that is setosa, versicolor and virginica. So what this data set contains is it has totally 150 rows and uh, the attributes it considers are four. The, uh, these are the four attributes, sepal length, sepal width, petal length and petal width and we will have the target value that is the output column which will have the labeling for these uh, classes of flowers. So we must remember this data set doesn't actually contain the names that is setosa, versicolor, virginica. Instead, it will have a label value 0 for setosa, 1 for versicolor, 2 for virginica. And um, in any classification problem, we usually have to divide the data set or split the data set into training and testing data set. We are choosing the default values that is 75 percent we uh, consider it as training data set 25 percent for the testing data set okay now um, in this program uh, you will come across these terms x train y train x test and y test what do they actually mean so x train and x test corresponding to the they, they correspond to the column values that is 75 percent of the data so if totally there are 150 rows and these four columns 75 percent of those rows will be stored in x train and what will x test contain x test will contain the remaining 25 percent y train will contain the output value that is a target value for each of the training data set in x train and y test for the x test so this is the major thing which we need to know and uh, we use a function called train test split. All this is available in the Python inbuilt. Uh, we import some packages and modules and we call the required functions. This is one important function. So this function will basically divide the data set into training and testing data set. As I said, we divide it in the default values that is 75% for training and 25% for testing. This function allows us to change these values, but we are not doing it. And what what will this do? It will return the training and testing data lists. So having got the knowledge of what we are doing in the program and what this data set does, let us dive into the program now. So basically we import a few modules and packages. Yes, we learned our data sets, we import the load iris data set and this is the uh, algorithm we are working on, K neighbors classifier and uh, NumPy is the numerical, numerical Python package for dealing with arrays and uh, from this uh, mod sklearn dot model selection we uh, import this function or we import this thing called train test split these are the basic imports we need to we need to import this in order to work with this problem that is knn problem okay now what we first do we just load the data set into this variable called iris data set this is an inbuilt function load iris then after loading it we are just printing this we are just printing the uh, target names and we are also printing the data. So what we are doing in this part of the program, so just understand, we just print the features or target names. So since the output is already ready, let us just try to correlate what the output says and what the code in the program says. So we are just printing the target names. So as I said, target names are three, Setosa, Versicolor and Virginica represent the three classes of the flower of the iris plant. and uh, as I said, each class corresponds to one label value, 0, 1, 2. So we are printing that in this part of the code. Okay. Now, uh, here we have just printed the target names and tar target values. After that, the basic thing in any classification model, as I said, we just need to split the data into training and testing data. So this we are calling the inbuilt function, train test split on the iris data set. So what this data contains, it will contain the four columns. 
as I said, uh, sepal length, sepal width, petal length, and petal width. What this target contains? Target contains the values either 0, 1, or 2 for each of the data. Random state, we need not worry, it is just a parameter which controls the shuffling of the data set. It will be usually none or we can make it zero. In, we can also give some random integer to see some ran, uh, shuffling in the data set. So let us not bother too much about it. It is just a uh, parameter we, we can pass by default. Okay. So now we are what we are doing, so we just print the iris data set by calling this uh, because we already loaded into this variable called iris data set. So we use this variable iris data set and access the data part of it. So as I said, the data set contains 150 rows and this data corresponds to those four columns. So what this iris data is, we will just see. The output looks so big only because there are 150 rows. Other than that, it is actually quite simple. So each of these uh, output we can see, it contains one, two, three, four, four columns and there are 150 rows. This is the iris data. And next we are printing the target as well. So we are we, here we will have 150 target values for each of the uh, data in the data set. So for example, this last row 5.9, uh, 5 5.1 5 and 1.8 will correspond to label value 2. Label value 2 means Virginica. So that is all we are doing here. So we have covered the code up to here. Another 50% of the code is remaining. What we do next is, since we have already split the data into training and testing, we just display it. Xtrain will contain 75% of the data and Xtest will contain 25% of the data. Ytrain will contain the target values for each of the training data set. That is the target value means the last column that is 0, 1 or 2 and y test will do the same thing for the 25% of the values which we are uh, referring to as x test. Okay. So after printing it, now comes the main thing. We just train the model. Everything in this program is simplified because we are using uh, the already inbuilt function. So this is the function k neighbors classifier and this is the parameter. So as we know, the very name k in then stands for k nearest neighbors. So the qu first question we have is how many neighbors? Even in the theory, uh, while solving the problem, we we will see what is the uh, nearest neighbors. That is how many nearest neighbors we need to consider. So we have passed the value five. It need not be five always, but uh, if if the if we are asked to change, we will have to change the value here, depending on the given k value. So what this will do? It will uh, so basically the entire thing we are referring to the uh, by this variable k n. Just for the sake of simplicity, the, uh, the program gets easier to read in the next part of the code. So this k neighbors classifier of n neighbors is equal to 5. Uh, we need to remember that n neighbors is a, a parameter already defined. So we must make sure that we use the same name itself and not uh, any other name. So this kn will have this and then fit is a function uh, already inbuilt. So to fit the data, we need the training data set. That is, we use the training data set to train the model. Then of course the testing data set will be used to test the model. Now after it is trained, now it is trained, this part of the code is training the model. Now the model is ready for like it is ready for testing. Now what we do, in order to test we need some sample. So this is the sample which can be given in the exam or you can choose some random values by seeing this uh, data. So this is the values uh, given. So this corresponds to one row. Like it, uh, this value may not be in the data set, it can be new as well. That is why we are just mentioning, uh, we are just uh, taking some random numbers and we are uh, we are pass we are converting this as a array, np.array. np is just for uh, handling arrays in Python, numpy. Then what we do is, um, we just print the predicted value for this particular data. That means for the given values of these four columns, that is uh, sepal length, sepal width, petal length and petal width, what does this model predict? So predict is a function inbuilt, we just call it by uh, passing the parameter x new. In other words, we are saying this is the data, so what does the model predict? What could be the class of the flowers, either it is 0, 1 or 2. So prediction will have the label value, so it can be 0, 1, 2, nothing else. 
So uh, we are just printing it predicted target value for uh, so wherever you see uh, this uh, curly braces in in the inverted commas of the print print statement, we must remember that the entire thing will be replaced by whatever this format function evaluates to. So if suppose we have zero here, so format of prediction will be zero. So this will commence it here. And uh, next, what we are doing, we are just again uh, printing the same, but we have printed the target value. Uh, and we know uh, 0 corresponds to uh, setosa, 1 corresponds to versicolor, 2 corresponds to virginica. Just to print it, we are again uh, printing the same. That is, we are just printing the target name corresponding to this prediction. So we'll just see what this part of the code is doing. The output is already ready. So this is the uh, value we have passed. This is the uh, value it has predicted and 0 as I said corresponds to setosa, we have just printed it again. So this is giving the prediction. If we were asked to just uh, try it on a sample and just leave it, we can stop at this point, but we are actually supposed to uh, find the accuracy. So what we do, in order to find accuracy, we need more than one uh, testing case. So what we have, whatever we have done here, in, other, in, in a way we are doing the same thing for the entire testing data set. So this was one random example sample we took. What we do is we do more or less the same thing for the entire testing data set. Now we can just see i is equals to 1 that is we are starting from the first uh, actually not the first uh, 0 will be the first row first uh, row so 1 will be the second row. So we are starting from the second row and uh, we are just whatever we did here uh, this was the uh, this was the array we have given like the user has given the input but here we are taking from the testing data set. Again we are converting it to np.array, then we are just printing it. After printing, so what we do here, in a for loop, for each of the test case, we are calling the predict function. So we are predicting for each of the row in the testing data set, whatever it is predicted, we will print it. But since the in the testing data set, we already know what is the target value. So we just print the actual values and the predicted values. So you can see there are there are four curly braces 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. I mean 0, 1, 2, 3. 0 will be replaced by y test of i. That means it will give the actual value, actual target value. And what is the actual target name? Suppose if it was 0, it will be setosa. And what is the predicted value? This will be replaced by prediction. Prediction will be the label value. It will be, suppose it is 1, then uh, this value will be replaced by 1. And 1 corresponds to versicolor. So iris data set of target names corresponding to prediction will be versicolor. That is whatever it, uh, the value of uh, prediction is there, depending on that the particular target name will be displayed. So this will be done for the number of times equal to the length of the testing data set. That is 25% of 150 rows. Okay. Uh, so this will run after this. We are just print. We are just uh, using the inbuilt function k dot score to print or find out the accuracy of the model. And we have the we have specified the uh, precision uh, point to f means up to only two points after the uh, decimal point. So we are just calling this function k dot score for the x test and y test. We are passing this because the, that is what we are testing on. So x test and y test we pass it as a parameters to x uh, k dot score this will return a value and the value will be uh, 0 point something. So if 100% is the maximum accuracy, so anything less than 1 will be the accuracy of the model. So we will see what the accuracy of this model is. Yeah. So here we can see that accuracy of the model is 0.97. So what does, what does this actually mean? So just to have some idea, let us see one or two examples. We can see the actual value is 1, but it has pred predicted it as 2. Uh, and we can see in most of the other cases, for example here, it actual value is 0 and predicted value is also 0. This will happen in most of the cases, but of course, sometimes it will predict wrongly. That is why we have 97% and not 100%. So we can see here, um, for example, uh, In, in, in some of the cases, for example, this was the, this was the only example where we found it as uh, failing, that is, it is giving the wrong output. In most of the other cases, it is predicting correctly. So this is the meaning of 
percent accuracy so this was all about k nearest neighbors classify classification algorithm um, because we have understood the program it will be easier to learn that's all for this video uh, thank you